September 18th is a date that forever changed the course of a family in Barnwell, South Carolina. On that day, 14-year-old Jenna Bodiford was diagnosed with stage 4 rhabdomyosarcoma. That's a cancer made up of cells that normally develop into skeletal muscles. Friends have rallied around the Barnwell High School freshman, even those gifts from rival Silver Bluff. They've come together as a community to lift her up in prayer and her family. You see them joining hands right here in prayer October 21st at Collins Park in Barnwell. I'm so pleased today to be joined by the Bodiford family, Becky and Brett and Jenna. And we're so glad that you were able to come today, Jenna, and be here with us. Um, this is the time of year when so many families are looking forward to the holidays. They're getting ready for Christmas and everything just kind of has stopped in your family and you're dealing with a, a very serious illness. So can you take me back to September and what happened then? Well, for a couple of weeks before September 18th, um, we assumed she had pulled a hamstring. She just had a pain in her leg. Mm -hmm. And it continued to get worse. The pain worsened. Took her to several emergency rooms. And we finally ended up at Augusta University. And they did an MRI and found a, a large tumor in her lower left back that had pinched off all the nerves to her legs and everything. Uh, so on that Monday, they diagnosed her with cancer, of course, and they admitted us to the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, we stayed in the hospital for eight weeks. Um, during that stay, they did emergency radiation on that Wednesday, which would have been the 20th um, at midnight. They opened the clinic because it was, when they got the diagnosis, they realized how severe it was. They had to act right away. Right away. Uh, the doctors were really awesome. And um, they were shrinking the tumor with the radiation? Yes, trying to get her some relief because they, the same night they talked to the chief neurologist and had him look to see if he could do surgery and he said there was no chance of surgery, that it's too involved with the nerves from the spinal cord. Right, right. So we did the radiation at midnight and the final diagnosis was stage four rhabdomyosarcoma, which is kind of rare. And it turned out she had cancer, not only in the tumor, but after the PET scan and the CAT scan, she had cancer in her bone marrow, her lymph nodes, her collarbones and her hips. But to this day, she hadn't shed a tear about it. Um, she's always smiles when she can. And her mom, I asked her one night about two, said, do you need to cry? Because yeah. it's okay to cry. And mm -hmm. she said, I can't cry because God's got his arms around me. That from your child? Um, the day she was actually, the, actually the day she was diagnosed, I was standing behind her wheelchair and, and I, I teared up some and tried to hold it together and she is plain as day just said, Daddy, it's gonna be okay. And that's been her faith all along. Uh, you don't realize the faith your kids have sometimes or what they're watching, but they're watching. Right, right. And and Becky, she grew up watching you. You had been youth youth pastors before, youth counselors. You have two older sons. Yes. Family is just really important yes, to you. Yes, it is. What has it meant to see the way the Burnwell community has just surrounded your family these last two months? The love and support has just been more than I could ask of anybody. And we could never say thank you enough to the community and everyone that's reached out to us and helped us and mm -hmm. showed support and love and the caring. It's been wonderful. Um, I think one of the sweetest stories you told me was that, and we had one of the pictures we showed you was this, the rival Silver Bluff High School, when they played Barnwell, they mm -hmm. had, they brought gifts for Jenna. Yeah, they actually contacted me and said that they had heard her story and as soon as they heard it, they wanted to do something. And they asked me if they could and of course, you know, God's just blessing us. And they wanted to come up the day at a Silver Bluff Barnwell game about 3.30 and they, they just showered her with gifts, with, wow. with inspirational writing from their students and, and with a Bible and 
candy and blankets. I mean, it just goes on and on. And they just loved on us so much. We're so humble. I mean, we just, we don't feel worthy to, for people to, to just love on us like they have. You know, to me, this is just one of those things about God. And what, when you are a community of faith, you're dealing with something that's so scary and so serious. But you can see beauty in that, mm -hmm. which is just yes. like a miracle. Yes. And we saw so many victories within her, her healing and within her sickness already. And we, we thank God for that. You're facing a lot of chemotherapy treatments, and you may be watching right now and wondering, how in the world can I help this family? There's something I want to do. Well, this is what you need to know first of all. All the Bodifords have asked for is prayers. They would love for you to pray for them. But some of these other folks have, have been more specific in what they would like to see happen. A GoFundMe account has been set up at jenna Bodiford you can go easily to that GoFundMe and, and make any contribution that you can. This money will go to help provide anything needed from medical and hospital bills to the cost of gasoline to help the family get Jenna back and forth to her treatments. Again, Jenna and her family don't expect anything, but they do want you to keep her in her prayers. And you can follow her journey right there on Facebook at Prayers for Jenna Bodiford and Family. All you have to do is go in and like that page, and I promise you, your heart will be touched. And as we enter into this holiday season and we remember the meaning of the holidays and the meaning of Christmas and showing love to to each other and our brothers and sisters that we don't even know, but we just know that people among us are hurting and that we, we wish them healing and strength. And this is a, a wonderful example of, of that. Your family right now, I feel like, is just, is really reaching out and people are touched by your story. And I know that people are gonna wanna help you all. And Jenna, I, I wish so much good for you. And I wish you the strength that you need to, to get through this and to keep your beautiful smile. You are a true inspiration. Much love to the Botterford family from Barnwell. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. We'll be right back. As the Bodifords were leaving, I realized how awesome it is to be part of this great medical community. But you know, we are also part of a very caring community. We want you to know, as well as the GoFundMe page, there's also an account for Jenna Bodiford at SRP Federal Credit Union. You can make a donation at any branch. That is all the time we have today. I do thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next Tuesday at 1230 for Jenny.